You know, 100 years ago, in, uh, I was a Scottish national coach. I used to go around the tracks of Scotland working with coaches. And every now and again, a little girl from this town or that town would turn up and you'd hear a little voice. And I'd be working away and hear the voice going, Mr Dick! Well, with a name like mine, you don't turn around too fast because you don't know what's going to be said next, you know? So, Mr Dick! Mr Dick! Yes? Will you coach me? Well, yeah, but not at the moment because I'm working with these people. Will you coach me later? Yes, fine. When? Look, when I'm finished with them, I'll come and work with you. Where's that? Look, sit down in the stand. When I'm finished with them, I promise I'll come and work with you. Promise? Yeah, see ya. Fine. Now, after I finish working with you, I'll work with her. She's nine years of age and she wants to go to run 100 metres. And I work with her for a few weeks. She goes to her first race. She lines up with another seven kids. On your mark. Sit. Bang. Runs down the track. Hurls herself at the line. Eighth out of eight in 18 seconds. And comes back. Oh, Mr. Dick, I was last. No, you weren't last. Yes, I was. No. You were 18 seconds. What do you mean? Well, you've smashed the 20-second barrier. And I had you down for 19 seconds. You're a whole second faster than that. Do you know what this means? No. This means it's your lifetime best performance. Your own personal world record. Really? Yes. And in some ways, you're a first. What do you mean? You're the first athlete I've ever coached who's run 18 seconds for the 100 metres. Now, listen, in a few weeks' time, she's got another race. What does she think winning is now? If she does 17.9, she'll grab a flag and she'll run around the track. Because that's what winning is. Winning is being better today than you were yesterday. Every day. And if she keeps on working at that, in a few weeks' time, she's fighting with other kids to get to the line. And you might think to yourself, well, surely winning now, Frank, is beating them. Not if it's in 19 seconds, it's not. Or we've killed our definition. The reason you go into tough arenas in life is to be challenged to perform better. You cannot perform better if you're not challenged. Listen, you don't learn to climb mountains in life by going round them or asking somebody for a ladder. You learn to climb mountains by climbing mountains, by seeking out the really toughest challenges because that makes you perform better. When you keep on going at that, one day you'll be a one and only. But the truth is, she always was, is and will be.